My name is Steve Farnsworth. I'm the superintendent in the Hudson City Schools. And I'm here to talk to you today about the Innovation Think Tank. The Innovation Think Tank is a group of out-of-the-box thinkers that come together on a regular basis to look for ways that the Hudson City Schools might better meet the needs of our students, both now and in the future. We don't have to look far to see organizations that have previously been successful um, but who didn't change because of some of the innovative things that were going on in the, in the world and some of the technological changes that have occurred. One such organization uh, was the Smith Corona Typewriter Company. It was a multinational company, a Fortune 500 company, that produced some of the best typewriters in the world. It was well respected and that company actually made changes uh, that, technolo that technology allowed. Uh, it evolved over time and included some really neat features that made it possible for the customer to use that typewriter very, very efficiently. Over time, however, a significant change occurred which the Smith Corona typewriter company did not embrace and that was word processing. As computers became uh, more popular, word processing became more popular, and the Smith Corona typewriter became irrelevant. It was no longer necessary. We don't want that sort of thing to happen to us in the Hudson City Schools. We see what's happening to our public libraries and the changes that they have to make. We also see what's happening to our United States Postal Service and to companies that produce newspapers they are faced with the challenge of changing with the time. We think that public schools are also on that list of an organization that needs to change with the times. There are several things that are happening in society today that our innovation think tank is taking a very very hard look at and trying to determine if some of those changes that are being forced upon society and the organizations in society uh, are necessary for the Hudson City Schools to embrace as well. So that's one of the big reasons that that innovation think tank was formed and that's what they're working on right now. Now Phil Herman will talk to you more specifically about some of the things that the innovation think tank is doing. Hi, my name is Phil Herman. I'm assistant superintendent with the Hudson City Schools. I'm going to talk to you about the three phases of implementation for the innovation think tank. We begin our work of phase one in March 2011. The first phase of the innovation think tank is really about broadening our thinking about innovation. In that phase, we brought in Dr. William Hiller, the executive director of the Martha Holden Jennings Foundation. And Dr. Hiller talked to us about the state of education today, funding in education today, and innovation trends. We also began our work with a consultant, Jill Campen from Campen Consulting, who helped us provide a structure and the phases that we would use in implementing the Innovation Think Tank. In those first few meetings of the Innovation Think Tank, we really focused on innovation discovery. We were broadening our thinking about innovation and what innovation in education might look like. We're now, in September of 2011, in phase two of the Innovation Think Tank. And phase two is really about ongoing discovery and research on innovations. We want to focus on innovation programs and innovations that improve efficiencies and improve the rigor and relevance for our students within Hudson City Schools. We've done that by dividing into targeted action teams. And those targeted action teams are around four main categories of innovation. The categories are real world engagement, technology, learning models, and operations. Once the work is done, we will be, those targeted action teams will bring forth recommendations to Superintendent Steve Farnsworth, and eventually Steve Farnsworth will make recommendations to the Board of Education for the specific innovations that should be implemented within Hudson City Schools. Uh, Doreen Osmond, Director of Curriculum Instruction, is going to talk to you more specifically about what those targeted action teams are doing in phase two of the process. Hello. Phil Herman just mentioned um, that we have action teams in place as part of our innovation think tank. These action teams are operating under a certain um, structure, a very specific structure. One of the things that the action teams will be addressing as they start to look at innovations are exactly identifying what innovations are out there. 
We're looking at public schools, private schools. Um, we're looking at the research and what the data show. And we're also looking at businesses, realizing that we work with students and students are always at the center of what we do in the schools. We're identifying in our action teams what opportunities and challenges exist. We are moving our thinking to, we can't do that, to how can we do it? Um, we also are looking at what our innovation will address. How will, it, um, how will it impact student learning? How will it help us operate more efficiently and effectively while improving student learning and student opportunities? We are also identifying the challenges that may exist during the implementation stage of implementing our innovation. All of these things, all of our innovations, all of our thoughts and research must center and look at our guided post. And those guide posts are efficiency. How will this innovation help us be more efficient? How does it use our time? Are we flexible enough in our structure? And how will it impact our people, um, our children, our students, our community, our faculty, our staff? We're very excited. We know that this innovation think tank, some of the things that come out of our innovation think tank, must, and they are the essential factors of what we do as, as a school district, um, if we want to continue to provide that world-class education we have for our students. The innovation think tank is an intentional effort to prepare our school district for the future. This is not an exclusive process. Uh, we look forward to hearing ideas from everyone. So if you have ideas about ways that our school district can meet the changing needs of the future, the needs of our students, feel free to call or contact me, Phil Herman, or Doreen Osman. Our goal has been and always will be to provide an outstanding education for our students and to help them be prepared for their futures.